Hey there, Capricorn, and thank you so much for joining me here for your new moon to full moon reading. So we're going from March 13th today, new moon, March 13th to full moon on the 28th. And that's what this reading is all about. I'm super excited about it. Um, these have been really, really cool. This is the last reading for this um, for this new moon. Been um, I went through all of them today. Um, they're shorter than they normally are for me because I am using a very limited amount of cards that I was guided to, and my latest readings, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, were so epic. The portal readings for 222 were long and epic. Even before that, for the full moon, um, they were big. And so for this one, because so much information has come out for me, and I know you get information elsewhere, um, I was really guided to keep it short and simple and targeted and precise this time around for these new to full moon readings. So uh, what we're going to do is get a card from Moonology, get a card from Sacred Geometry, um, and get a card from the Archetypes Oracle deck from Kim Kranz. And we're also going to be getting a card from the Angel Tarot but just one of the major arcana cards, as you can see, this is a much smaller deck or chunk of, of cards than the whole deck. And that's just because we're only gonna get one card, one major arcana card. It'll be our last card that we get. Um, but we're gonna start with the Moonology deck, the Moonology cards. So let's get going here, Capricorn. Let's see what comes up for us here with Moonology to start us off with our messages. And if I'm new to you, my name is Infinity. I'm a medical medium, psychic, physical empath, shaman, mystic, and Ascension Coast astral meditation guide, natural born healer, psychic channel medium, and um, artist as well. And my website, here's our card, my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, will um, ha will have a ton has a ton of information for you, lots of stuff to read and listen to with my podcast as well that you can get a hold that you can um, listen to on my website as well. It's called Evolve Now Lightworkers with Infinity as well as meditations, ebooks, and all that. So I invite you to check out what I have to offer there as far as private reads, energy healing of the moderate and deeper, longer varieties, and ascension coaching. Um, again, I work worldwide with people of all ages and animals as well. Okay, let's get going Capricorn. What do we have here? The energy is gaining momentum with waxing moon. Energy is gaining momentum. So something is coming to a peak to a head here with you, Capricorn. Um, maybe an important achievement, maybe um, a revelation, maybe a connection with somebody. Um, uh, your understanding about something, your perspective, um, getting a little bit higher, get, get rising in perspective I'm hearing here. The energy is gaining momentum, interesting. Um, yeah, I keep hearing awareness. Your awareness, your perspective is rising. Your, 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 whether it's just kind of in globally in your world or about certain situations, like dots are starting to connect, or and you're starting to feel like you know more confident and kind of seeing things. Maybe you've been confused about some things, and this is like, oh, aha moments coming through. And for our sacred geometry card, I have not seen this one before. And just so you know, this is a really new oracle. These two oracle decks here at the end, especially the sacred geometry and the um, our, uh, archetypes oracle decks are super new to me. The moonology deck I've had for about a month, but this tarot deck I've had for years and years. Um, 
Okay, Merkaba healing Capricorn, healing all levels of being with the fourth card here. Um, beautiful art. Just take a moment, tap in with that. Card number four, Merkaba healing. Um, it's a master card healing on all levels. So card, um, sorry, card number four. And my pillow is like twisted and really annoying. <laughs> I don't know how it got so, there we are. Oh my gosh, it's so twisted. Okay. Merkaba healing. Okay, Capricorn. Oh wow, this is a long one. It is 9.38 here in the Pacific. Card number four, pages 28 and 29. Merkaba healing. I have not seen this card before or read this, so I'm really interested in this. Okay, healing on all levels of being. As I open my heart to unconditional love and allow myself to reawaken to the ancient knowledge, knowledge that lies deep within my cellular memory, I allow the Merkaba to reactivate and promote healing on all levels of my being. Woo wee! <laughs> The Merkaba has shown up today to inform you that it is time to fully open your heart and awaken your mind to allow the Merkaba to allow the Merkaba access to your mind, body, and soul, and take you on a grand journey of promoting healing on all levels of your physical and spiritual being. When the Merkaba is fully activated, you begin your ascension process, lifting your vibration and expanding your electromagnetic field to allow healing on all levels and to help you on your journey of self-healing and self-discovery. Your soul journey will be accelerated. Sacred Geometry. The Merkava comprises two tetrahedrons that make a three-dimensional shape of the Star of David. Uh, when first discovered, it was said that the, that the rotating light spun at the speed of light. However, these days the Merkaba is not switched on as it used to be. After the fall of Atlantis, the Merkaba stopped spinning. We are here now to reactivate our own Merkaba through reawakening our conscious. Our conscious. When we allow ourselves to switch the Merkaba back on, it will start counter-rotating once again and help on all levels of healing and ascension. To reactivate and reignite the Merkaba, two main things need to occur. The first is to experience unconditional love and no divine love of self. Without divine love, the Merkaba will act only as a machine and thus have its limitations. To be able to move beyond our limitations, we need to learn to express love of self and universal love. The second is to connect to our higher self, which can be achieved through awareness of the soul's journey. Know who you are and where you have come from. Access can be gained through stillness and meditation, reading, holistic healing, teachers who, who cross our paths, to name a few. Practical application. When we perfect the use of the Merkaba, it will allow us to shift through dimensions and access information from our ancestors and prior civilizations and connect with higher realms. We will experience expanded awareness and elevated consciousness as we shift our vibration. By pulling this card, you allow this divine template to assist in healing on all levels. Reactivate the Merkaba consciously by envi envisaging its shape and seeing the two triangles or tetrahedrons starting to counter rotate. As it spins, see it going faster and faster. Now place your whole self within the center of the Merkaba, absorbing all its energetics. Ask for any healing that needs to be done at this time and for as long as the issue persists. Remember, we are not restricted to time and place. Hence, we can create this geometrical grid around our house, room, bed, and absorb the frequencies while we sleep. Card numerology, Merkava Healing 7, Merkava Healing 8. 
Crystal Suggestions, Crystal Platonic Solid Set, Crystal Merkaba Set, Clear Quartz Points, Herkimer Diamond. And Owl, and sorry, Animal Medicine, Owl, Wolf, and Snake. And Essence, Owl, Wolf, and Snake, Medicine, Essence, uh, Muneki, Mun, Medicine, Essence. Okay, wow. Oh, just reading about it is intense. <laughs> um, but I can certainly say, um, having, you know, doing a lot of work with my own Merkaba, with the Merkabas of others, and guiding people to connect and work and, and, and really expand with that energy, that it is definitely um, it is definitely I mean, I, the only thing that I'm hearing is, like, this is when it's, like, level up time. It's kind of like there's a foundation and there's those, like, um, what are those called? Uh, <laughs> those points in a foundation that, like, are the, the pillars and then you build around that and then you can have a second floor kind of thing. Like all of that is set. But like it's almost like what I'm seeing here is almost like books have been delivered but you have yet to go into them. Or you know things second hand. Like somebody telling you. And then you're like, okay, now I know it. Or just di dipping in a little bit here and here, here and there. Um, keeping a certain distance with, with energies that it's like almost like you're just going to slip right through into there. So it's almost like you've been like in and out at the same time. Let's see what the archetypal, um, the archetypes say about this. I'm really interested because this Merkaba healing card and, and what it was bringing through is like, the need to activate I'm hearing. It's like all the power is coming to the house, but we haven't turned it power it's like energy is there we have to power it up um get it circulating through and that really is the merkaba so that makes sense <laughs> um too higher awareness to soul connection is really like next level stuff next level stuff is what i'm hearing and avoiding or or Feeling like the path has been blocked suddenly. There's our card. Um, or that it's always been blocked and you just haven't, like you're just waiting to see more clearly so you can move forward. But it's like, but you've got to move forward to see more clearly. <laughs> so it's kind of a paradox there. The unseen. The Let's see what this is about. Card number 2567. Um, um, there, no. Oh. Something with these Roman numerals today are really twisting my brain up. There it is. X's and V's. There's our unseen. And let's see what it has to say here. Uh, the spirit, the ancestor, the eternal. The unseen is just as it sounds. We cannot see it, yet it sees us. Watching and waiting with wisdom, both kind and instructive. We feel this presence, sense it, into it. Intuit it, <laughs> and then doubt its existence. Though it rallies our attention time and time again, the energy of the unseen may come in many forms. A compelling dream, a sudden insight, a clear voice, a vision, a message from a loved one who has passed 
to the other side. It is natural to fear these communications as they challenge our perception of what is real. When this card appears, your guides are near. The eternal is present. The doorway between worlds is ajar. Listen. The sounds may seem as though they come from a distant land, but they call from your innermost chambers. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. So like I said, it's like, it's like all the energy is coming to the house, but the, the, the power box, whatever it's called, needs to be switched on. So it's all, so it's like there coming to you, but you can very easily ignore it um, or just pick and choose what, what you're connecting to, what you're bringing, what you're allowing to come in to give you the, the information that you so, so really very much need. Um, it's the sources that in which where they're coming from that you're having a hard time putting just like stock in. It's like on one hand, it's like, oh, I'll go with the flow. I go as guided. I'm going to be not in resistance. I'm not going to play the victim or this, that, and the other thing. But at the same time, I'm going to disregard regard all of this evidence and stuff that will help me to see things and move forward. Um, and, the, and this whole Merkaba thing with the unseen is is exactly that. The Merkaba is unseen. The the energies that come in once the Merkaba is activated is unseen. A lot of it is unseen. And um, while I feel like in a sense you're like, oh I totally get that. I know I know all that's unseen and I know that, you know, there are there is that. There's also a great disconnect there. With with like there's knowing and and really connecting. So there's this like in and out energy, in and out energy, push pull energy. Like, are you in or are you out? Are you in? And this Merkaba card is saying you really need to be in. And, and what is unseen can be seen by you, but you need to go in first. Okay, let's see what else is here. When light clairvoyance, Clairvoyant guidance, whispers of wisdom, when dark, dark incoming energy, unwillingness to forgive, go deeper. Um, King Hamlet, the three fates, and the shining. Being graced by the unseen is a gift. Treat it kindly. Allow yourself to be seen by eternal eyes. And guidance comes in many forms. Don't expect it to be glittery or comfortable. The spirit world speaks the truth. Sometimes it soothes and sometimes it burns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm seeing here is kind of one-eyed seeing. Which really keeps a lot out of view when you're one eye seeing. Regardless of if your third eye is open and how psychic and connected you are. But when you're one eye seeing, you're cutting off a whole a whole side, a whole perspective of the full picture. It's really seeing one side of a situation. Maybe being so grounded that it's like the perspective, like being so, so like, I'm going to be like here and grounded. and it, But it's like almost like the whole body is in the ground and just your head is out of the ground and you cannot see a whole lot from that perspective. And Merkaba is coming in to be like, no, but you can totally rise in your awareness. And the unseen is saying, we see you and you're, you're privy to see a whole lot more too, but you're choosing not to. It's almost like wanting somebody else to drive the car so you don't have to see what's coming. Renewal. Renew and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So renewal is also judgment. Um, 
and again balance that's review and evaluate energy is gaining momentum so you're being pushed into this new paradigm and I don't think it was your decision I think a circumstance happened that made it so you're you're being pushed into this new paradigm to see the unseen that maybe with this other circumstance um, or situation going on that you could really kind of be more passive about it and this is being like no this is time to balance out and see for yourself um, and you have the ability to like you see this see all the waves you see it's pretty turned up there and what I'm seeing here is like you have the ability to settle and calm the waters but you have to decide to see the unseen to go all the way in and and turn yourself inside out um, and this Merkaba healing is really coming in here with this renewal to say that is exactly what needs to happen that even though that even though I'm hearing you may have done a lot of work because I'm feeling like pushback here like hey I've done stuff it's like, we're not saying that you haven't, but that was then and this is now. And we're in a new time period now. This is new moon to full moon, March of 2021, and new renewal. We have card number 27 here with the unseen. That is a very particular number it's a nine so it's speaking to uh it's got that light worker energy renewal here i'm seeing kind of like <laughs> You know that it's like, I'm going to play this person, I'm going to play this person. And this is what happened, and this is who I am, and this is what happened, this is who they are. And this is what was said, and this is what, you know, transpired. So, like, almost you, like, getting up from the table and being like, I'm going to sit over here, and now I'm going to be this person. Now I'm going to get up and sit, sit over here, and I'll be this person. Um, almost like, like the, an exercise to try to see the different perspectives because... Again, the unseen is kind of telling me like I've seen I've seen it this way. And it's been very hard for me to see outside of that, for me to put myself into a, the perspective of my guides, of another person, of what is going on on <coughs> excuse me, on the inside possibly. Like I'm paying attention to all this outer stuff. And maybe that's by design to keep you sort of um, disconnected or not so involved um, with some something or someone just enough. Um, maybe uh, that sort of thing, like getting to the to the ocean but not diving in, and it's like oh, I'll just stay right here. This is far enough kind of thing like showing up to the shore and being like yeah I'm gonna stay right here and the energy is going like no you need to come in you need to cleanse you need to renew you need to heal on a cellular level and connect on a cellular level like you haven't before um and like there's been something in the way that keeps you from this next thing and I also feel that it's kind of like I've been waiting for this next thing and I have been doing stuff along the way 
but it's felt very preparational. It's felt very foundational, which is like I, I think it was in this reading that I said that, where it, but, and like knowing like something else is going to happen to shift and like, it's like a catapult kind of thing. Like I know at some point the catapult is going to be cut or that rope is going to be cut and I'm going to get to whoo, kind of thing. And I think that's now. I think that's now. I think the energies have been like stepping stones, stepping stones, stepping stones. And you're just like, I don't know when, but I know it's coming. And at that point, then I'll feel a shift. Then there'll be that push forward. Then I'll know it's time for to really like go from first, second, third into fourth gear, fifth gear, and really just let it, let it go. Like there's been this, um, waiting period. So with that said, Merkaba healing, definitely get into that, work with that energy, look into that, um, work with those energies, work again, the unseen really coming in on a lot of different sides here with the unseen and how it feels very, I'm remembering when I, put, when I, when I first saw this card or turned it over, it was upside down and it's like, not not seeing everything not seeing everything and needing to see needing to see more on different levels needing to see more on different levels and whatever that was being used to help you see shifting and now having to like being like okay like now it's kind of like coming around like all right now click 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 and this is now the front of the cart where it's like maybe or the car whatever it is it's like was in the past needs or behind is now moving forward so you could see forward because maybe there's been a lot of looking back <coughs> excuse me all right i think that's it here lastly i'm i'm i am tuning in here to review and evaluate that part of this card here Re review and evaluate speaking to yeah literally reviewing and evaluating your how your thread in the tapestry of of whatever is going or has been going on and how that's connected things or or not connected things and where things are now for you um, to review and evaluate that and that will help with more that is unseen to help that come into um, your awareness so thank you so much Capricorn for being here I really appreciate it and I hope to see you soon bye